Dan! <laughs> I love you. Hello, everyone. So I'm trying out this new thing where I try to make my intros a little more peaceful because I feel like I always come blasting into the video with like a hi guys. So I'm trying to ease in. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. Although I know that I say that at the top of every video, I have some really cute clips to share with you guys today. You know the drill, food, outfits, just kind of what I did today on what I lovingly refer to as my little homestead in the city. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for alerts every time that I upload and check out my social media links down below in the info box for all of the other ways that we can stay connected. So with all of that being said, let's hop right in. First thing I wanted to get done was making my bed. Now I mentioned this in my last day in my life, but I like making my bed right now in kind of this like half made, ready to slide into and take a nap if necessary kind of vibe. I rarely like make my bed with my decorative pillows as of right now because usually I'm getting in the bed at some point during the day. Now I had some diapers that I wanted to fold and put away. I pretty much do diapers every single day. We could wait a couple of days. We have enough now to where we could maybe stretch it out, but I've mentioned this before, I like doing laundry every day. Laundry is not like a bothersome task to me. Um, it's kind of relaxing and peaceful. And I like folding up his little diapers and like lining them up and seeing them lined up like a little rainbow. Talk to me in a few months, maybe my tune will change. Like I don't wanna be annoyingly positive and amped on diapers, but I can't lie, I actually enjoy doing it. And I think that his diapers are so cute. I find it kind of fun. Um, so on this day, I had just changed his diaper. And so I left him on his little changing table and I just kind of sat, did the diapers, talked to him. I love talking to Logan, hearing his sounds and his volume like change and develop is just really fun for me because I'm almost exclusively pumping now, not breastfeeding. This is one of the ways that Logan and I bond and that's through talking and making faces at each other. And it's just, oh, I love it. Side note, if I never mentioned the kinds of cloth diapers that I've been using, they're called Alva Baby. I will have them linked down below. Um, the short answer to everyone's question that I think I've pretty much said, I am still loving them. I think that these are so well made. They're affordable. I'm definitely going to do a video on them, but I'm probably going to take questions on Instagram from you guys. So I know exactly what you want to hear me talk about in regards to the diapers. So keep a lookout for that. Also, we're still using the Tommy Tippy bottles, I believe with the one sized like nipple flow. I also had some frozen dates that I had made, pulled those out of the freezer. You guys know I love these. And then I pulled this out of the dryer. We've been using this with Logan during the day on a flat surface or his swing. Actually, at this point, I think I showed him using it in his Snuggle Me Organic, but we actually haven't been doing that anymore. He mostly just uses it when he's on more of a flat surface. And the purpose, if you can't tell, is to help prevent him from flattening out the back of his head too much. Much. Now I'm inserting these clips because they're adorable. <laughs> Fun little fact, Logan frequently falls asleep um, when he's being burped. And <laughs> it's something about the padding, like he loves it so much, it puts him to sleep sometimes. So I had to capture that on camera. Also, we're obsessed with this onesie and he is too. He always just seems so cozy when he's wearing it. I actually posted this on Instagram. It was completely accidental. One day when we were going for a walk, um, Dan put him in this onesie and I didn't know that. And then I came out in my dress and we matched. I was twins with my son. It was really cute. So 
So I really wanted a salad, so I made my way upstairs and I pulled a head of lettuce off of my tower garden. And then I made my balsamic honey mustard vinaigrette that I like to make, but I added some more veganaise into it to make it creamier, which is something that I've never actually done before. Um, and I wanted like a heartier dressing with the eggs, the caramelized onions that I did on a pan. Um, and it was really, really good. I think I also had cherry tomatoes, jalapeno, spring onions, cilantro, avocado, and a little bit of Kerrygold cheese. Oh, and hard boiled eggs. Now, time for another meal. I have been craving hard boiled eggs lately. So I wanna say this was like the next morning for breakfast, possibly. I had hard boiled eggs with salt and pepper on top, as well as some pistachio nuts, some sliced apples, a side salad, and a little bit of nutso. I think it's like a hazelnut nut butter blend. And of course, I had my passion fruit iced tea with it. It was delicious. Now warning, Dan actually filmed these next shots of a bee up close. I'm super creeped out by bugs, but I decided to keep this because it really is beautiful to see like bees doing their job in nature <laughs> and pollinating things. Um, but I didn't even know Dan filmed this. He just like ran out with the camera and got this super creepy, but super awesome footage. Who knew that my channel would turn into National Geographic? <laughs> I feel like my birth video actually is what made that transition on my channel. <laughs> that was very Nat Geo. So we did go on a walk on this day. Of course, Dan had to speed racer down the street. I wore my Vessies, which are my absolute favorite tennis shoes. I love these things so much. They're weatherproof and they're so comfortable, it's crazy. And of course, like usual, by the end and sometimes right away at the beginning, Logan fell asleep. I brought with me a little bag of Newman's O's. They're like quote unquote healthier Oreos. But Dan threw the bag to me and they shattered. So that was a bummer <laughs> calling him out in this video. Then Dan risked our child's life for a funny shot in my video. Bravo, Dan. Dad skills strong. Now I'm really confused because I feel like I've actually already shown you guys these seedlings once they've grown a little bit. So I don't know where I mixed up my footage, but just in case you're interested, this is how we started the seedlings for our spring garden. Dan bought this kit from Home Depot that was just like super simple, a really easy way to plant the seeds compactly. And then these were all of the seeds that we planted on this day. Although actually those flowers, I planted those in a pot, not in these cubes. And the corn is getting sowed directly into the ground in our backyard. This has worked out well so far, but don't quote me on that till we see if the seedlings actually fully survive and are able to be transplanted. But as you, I think, have seen in other videos, these have actually already grown quite a bit. A lot of the plants are like three inches tall now. So he basically, you know, followed the steps and then he filled out the little plant map that came with the kit so that we could remember you know, what was planted where. Now, I mean, dude, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't shown you guys these seedlings. I feel like I should be a better YouTuber and know that, but here are the seedlings. I'm excited to just share the progress of our spring garden because we are currently trying to grow 22 crops. So hashtag pray for Philippi Farms. So I had to pull one of my cookies that if you watched my last day in my life, you saw me make these. Um, but I had to pull one out of the freezer because they're so good. I'm embarrassed to say that currently I've been probably having like three to four of these cookies a day. So that's exciting. It actually is exciting. Um, okay, so walk time. As I've mentioned, walks have been a huge part of our life like forever, right? Just like getting outside, we like to do that. But um, lately we've really been loving walking because Logan loves it so much. And here in Nashville, there's so much like greenery and so many different kinds of animals that I was never really, we were never really around in LA. So we drove to a local park.
we were waiting for my sisters to arrive because at this point, the quarantine wasn't an official thing. So we were still following CDC recommendations of being in a group of less than 10 people in public. So we met up at the park and it was honestly so beautiful. The weather was perfect. The trees were full of flowers and it was just really nice to be able to spend time with both of my sisters and the boys out in nature, admiring the beauty all around us. I thought this was really cute, by the way. My younger sister Shayna was wearing a little shawl kimono situation and she put it over his car seat to add a little more shade and clothes if we needed to. And Logan's top and diaper actually matched the kimono. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> And then my other sister, Michelle, who's an incredible dancer, um, randomly stood on top of this bridge and risked her life by doing this crazy yoga dance move. So you go, Michelle. <laughs> down. I'm going to send a flood, going to drown a mouth. By the way, if you're looking for an incredible homesteading blog for like someone living on a smaller property homestead and chill is amazing her information is just so helpful and she's really inspiring Now the area that we're walking through the park right now was actually hit by the tornado that hit Nashville um, about a month and a half, two months ago. It's been a blur, guys, these last few months. So it was kind of crazy to get out and see all of that. Um, but yeah, we just hung out. I know I'm constantly showing his baby toes, but I don't know. Is there anything better than baby toes? <laughs> Clearly, we've been spending a lot of time on walks in nature lately. I mean, maybe not a lot of time, but you know, we're getting out every day. Now, I wanted to insert some footage of Logan that I've been shooting that are just so adorable. Moments and clips that I never want to forget. So you're all going to get to see them too. And you're welcome. <laughs> what? I just typed in it's and look at what it asked me. It's Judy time. Oh, it's so funny. Because that's what it looks like, but... Yeah... Uh-huh. Totally, dude. That's so true. 
Mm, I love you too. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> so true. Mm. Uh huh. Who knew? Uh, you knew. Uh huh. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> You're so late. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to be here, but you all are so good. <laughs> love you. Yes, I do. So, who else just died from cuteness overload? Raise your hand. <laughs> um, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're still hearing me talk, check out my info box because not only do I have links to everything that I could find in this video, all my social media links, but also I'm doing a semi-secret, but not actually secret giveaway. So if you check the info box, I will have all of the information down there and yeah good luck guys turn on your notifications by the way because i reply to winners in the comment section so i want you to actually get notified if you win so on that note i'm gonna go now and i will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video all right bye guys